The question is that the House do now adjourn. I call the honourable member for Swan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As the year draws to a close here in Parliament House, there are many things our minds turn to as Christmas rapidly approaches. Madam Speaker, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a joyful and safe Christmas to you and your entire family. I would also like to wish the same to all of my parliamentary colleagues and their families on both sides of the chamber. This is an adversarial place, and particularly around this time of the year, we should be a little bit more charitable towards each other. I'd like to thank all the staff in the Parliament House for all the work they do for us, and please enjoy your Christmas break and do know that we appreciate the work you do for us. I'd also like to thank all my staff, Jonathan, Candice, Shannon, Gail and Karen, for all the work and support they give me and my electorate of Swan. I couldn't do my work without them. To everyone in the electorate of Swan, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Madam Speaker, I now turn to my family, and particularly my wife Cheryl, who supports me in every way. Cheryl is the hardest working volunteer I have ever had, and she completes my life, and I cannot speak highly enough of her and her commitment to me and my, to my work as a parliamentarian. Cheryl and I are passionate about many social issues, but if there is one thing we both want to see happen, and that is to achieve the aim of zero abuse to children. It is a discussion this country needs to have. Throughout Australia's history, child abuse has often been dismissed, particularly by those who had the power to hold those who would seek to commit such acts to account, as we saw for many years with the forgotten Australians and child migrants. Madam Speaker, in my first speech in this place, I said we should apologise to all the children who were never removed from an abusive environment, whether it was with carers or within their own family environment. Cheryl and I discussed last week the fact that as we approach Christmas, which is supposed to be a time of joy, there are still many children throughout Australia in metropolitan, rural, remote and regional areas that are living in fear from abuse. They are not looking forward to Christmas, as they know the abuse will continue and increase over this period as they will have to spend more time in that abusive environment instead of going to school. Madam Speaker, over the past decade the discussion about child abuse has, however, become more prevalent, and for that I thank governments along with the victims' advocates. I know this issue is close to the hearts of everyone in this place who believes in the protection of innocence and the protection of our most vulnerable. Madam Speaker, there are many people who think that an abused child is better off with its parents, even though they may, they may be the abuser or the abusers. Well, I don't agree with that. The people who think that, who think that may never have been a victim of abuse and they need to understand the fear of an abused child. In conversations I have had with victims of abuse, the last place they ever want to be is with their abusers. Madam Speaker, today I call for everyone in this place in our nation to focus on saving our children from abusers and I particularly don't care about what culture they're from or where they live. There is no excuse. Madam Speaker, our, whole role is our role is paramount in changing the processes that abused children are put through. We need to remove children from an abusive environment the second we know about it, and they should not be returned to be abused over and over and over again because of some progressive mindset that infects the processes of saving abused children. Anyone who abuses a child should have no rights at all. And as I said before, this country needs to have that conversation. Madam Speaker, in closing, I ask our nation to look out for our children and protect them from any sort of abuse. Be brave and interfere if you suspect abuse and bring it to the authorities' attentions. In the short time I have left, I would just like to put a personal aspect on that. Cheryl and I both have had members of family suffer from abuse, and uh, we are very strongly in favour of making sure that. Uh, uh, the ch children who are abused and never returned to those who abused them. Thank you.